What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be meet the most massive quarterback in NFL history. Now we acted to meet the most scariest um, player in NFL history the other day and it seems to be a series he has. There seems to be quite a few more videos. If you want me to react to more, let me know in the comments guys. But uh, this is going to be an interesting watch. A short one, 5 minutes 45. Um, and I think hopefully it's going to highlight that, that no matter your appearance, no matter if you're overweight or stuff like that, you can potentially become a top, top athlete. And uh, if you put your dedication in, which I'm assuming he's put his dedication in to throwing the ball, getting it pinpoint with his passes, and he has that general ability, but it doesn't matter maybe if he's overweight or if he's maybe, he might not even be overweight. I'm just assuming that he might actually be super muscly and be massive in that way, like so much muscle, which again would probably help your game because you're healthier. Uh, but let's get straight into it. I'm not too, like, not sure what to fully expect, but uh, let's get straight into it, guys. Hit that like button, I'd seriously appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, so you're absolute legends. And let's meet the most massive quarterback in NFL history. And Rex Grossman is someone they've looked at, apparently, Tyler Thigpen. But somebody okay. raised their hand on Twitter and tweeted out a photograph of himself as a North Kentucky River monster in lime green, saying, I look good in green. And he's also played in the New York uh, football market with the Giants. You're about to witness the man who makes Big Ben look Oh, smart. what a move. Go on. I mean, so in my video about David he's got Curry, moves. Here he is jogging off the field after that amazing catch. Well, the first person he runs into is the backup quarterback. That man was Jared Lorenzen, a.k.a. the Hefty Lefty. By the way, hefty this lefty. dude is literally the Jackie Moon of indoor football. I'll explain that later. Jared Lorenzen played college ball at the University of Kentucky. He was actually the predecessor to the former number one overall pick, Tim Couch. I tell you what, he's got moves. Oh, big lad. He's got a few side steps. He's got a few freaking, oh, I'll see you later, mate. I rate it. End of the day. Mate, it's fair play because I am extremely... Uh, I wouldn't, actually, I wouldn't say extremely, but I'm not overweight. I'm actually probably skinnier than what I should be, but my fitness is all over the place at the moment. And a lot of people with a lot more weight on them than me, um, which potentially people would say they're not as healthy as me, could run a lot further than me at the moment, which is a little embarrassing to me, and I've exposed myself. But uh, since lockdown, I haven't really been doing the fitness too much. Um, so it just goes to show, don't judge a book by its cover, because there's a lot of people, potentially him, who can run a lot further than me, easier you know what i mean it is not always about the appearance the hefty lefty's freshman year he weighed in at 308 pounds before the season and wow. the coach wouldn't allow him to play until he was under 268 pounds he eventually to go. down and four years later he would go on to break a bunch of school passing records but Yo, it wasn't go on. The man drafted he did sign as an undrafted free agent for the new york giants when he signed he was a big dude at the time six foot four 285 you don't see too many quarterbacks weighing in at that size. I no. mean, Jamarcus Russell was only 260. Well, his career in the NFL didn't amount to much. He does have a Super Bowl ring, but as far as his playing... I mean, it didn't amount to much, but he's got a Super Bowl ring. Yeah, I assume he did, probably didn't play, but at the end of the day, I'd take a Super Bowl ring. <laughs> I would happily sit on the bench, because even if you're on the bench, you're part of a team. But fair play, lad. Fair Time play. His NFL career, his very first NFL play was a QB sneak on third and one. His second career play, the exact same thing. Oh, wow. He was basically put out there to move the pile and so Eli Manning wouldn't get hurt. He only played in four NFL games. His passing stats for his career, oh, he was only lad. four of eight for 28 yards. No touchdowns or interceptions. Pardon the bad quality, but the play of his career was probably this. Oh, is that him? Surely not. That's not him, is it? After the Giants won the Super Bowl. I think he was a guy catching up. I was like, he's, he's definitely not a guy <laughs> in the <laughs> running. I wasn't sure. The quality was quite bad, but I think he was the one who caught. They ended up cutting the Renz in. The biggest problem was he couldn't keep his weight under control. Everybody knows Coach Coughlin. It's kind of stickler about some certain things. Well, I got a funny story. Finally, we get our food. At the end of the day, I get, we get ourselves some big old chicken breast, fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and they got them in bags for us. Well, I pick up my bag, and I'm walking back out the locker room, and Coach happened to be walking by the same time I was. Grabbed my bag, looked at me, laughed, told me I wasn't allowed to have it. I was too big. Tom oh, Coughlin, that's awful, man. The Giants' coach 
had weight limits for every player. That's the fine would be $400 a day for every pound they went over. Lorenzen's limit was 292. Weigh-ins were on Friday, so Lorenzen wouldn't eat on Thursday. He would spit in a bottle all day to get rid of water weight. Oh my on God. Friday morning, he would put on five shirts and a hoodie, plus two pairs of shorts and two pairs of sweatpants. He would then bake in a sauna and basically kill himself on an elliptical machine. Oh, that is awful. That is, I mean, you shouldn't have to put your body through that. Um, I hope he did that because he wanted to stay in the NFL and it was his passion. But it's such a shame. If you're going to hire a man, what difference is it 292 to 295? You know what I mean? Um, but you shouldn't have to put yourself through that just to make weight. When they know what they're hiring. You know what I mean? They know what they're hiring. But damn, I mean, he should, in theory, just control his weight overall. And then he wouldn't have had to do that. But man, that is brutal. And he would barely make weight. After the Giants cut him, the Colts looked to give him a chance. But when he stepped on the scale, he weighed in at 303 pounds. Oh my Cam God, Newton wow. weighs about 50 pounds lighter than that. And the average NFL alignment weighs only 10 pounds heavier than he did at the time. Well, he never played for the Colts, so his NFL career was over. But this is where the story really gets interesting. Here is where Jared Lorenzen relates to Jackie Moon. Even if you don't know who that is, it's still pretty funny. <laughs> in 2011, the Ultimate Indoor Football League was trying to make a name for itself. So the dude became a GM of the Northern Kentucky River Monsters. And while he was putting together his team, he was having a hard time finding a quarterback. Well, the GM of the River Monsters would also be suiting up as the team's quarterback. Oh, 14 play. games and 81 touchdowns later, he was named the league MVP. And shortly after this dominant season, he was named commissioner of the league. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Fair play to him. He hasn't given up on his dream and he's gone, yeah, we haven't got a quarterback. I'll give it a go and tore it up. That is awesome. That is great to see, wow. man. Imagine a Roger Goodell, Jerry Jones, Matt Ryan hybrid. I mean, it is only a semi-pro league, but it's still pretty crazy. Honestly, that would be a pretty sweet gig. To be honest, the Pillsbury throw boy could move. He was pretty nimble, but oh, he got lad. huge after his NFL <laughs> career. He was listed on the team's roster at 320 pounds. Oh my God. Yet, every single report I read online said he weighed a lot more than that. He apparently hadn't stepped on a scale since he was in the NFL a few years back. Wow. Sadly, later on, the hefty lefty's career would abruptly end after suffering an injury. But his legend lives on as the heaviest quarterback to ever play in the NFL. And he can move, like I said, he can move from his size. In them images when he, he's potentially 340 pounds, which is mental. Um, still move, you know, he can still move better than a lot of people. So a uh, fair play to him, not giving up and just doing what he's passionate about, I guess. Not worrying about his weight, which again, some people will moan about. But I'm not here to judge. I'm here to watch and be happy and enjoy it. That's, why I, that's my job and uh, that's what I'm doing. When he played for the Giants and they played in a stadium he'd never been to, he would take a ball in warm-ups and fire it into the upper deck. He hoped somebody up there would remember him. As a That's college awesome. football Hall of Famer for his accolades at Kentucky, and after going viral for his highlights for the River Monsters, he will definitely be remembered. Yeah. <laughs> What a catch, man. What a catch. Fair play. Oh, that is the end of the video. Another great KTO reaction um, video. So if you want to go and check him out, the link will be in the description, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I really have. A very light-hearted, funny one. And um, let me know how he's doing today. Has he lost weight or anything like that? It'd be pretty awesome to hear, guys. So please let me know in the comments. Uh, again, I'm not too familiar on him. Let me know in the comments. Have a fantastic day, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.